Hello dears, I am seeing most of the pharmacy students are gaining very good knowledge in their academics but they really do not know the importance of concepts they have learned and where they are being applied. I am making small and simple videos. These kind of videos are to connect the individual topics you have learned versus where they are being applied. Trust me dears, running through these kind of small videos will make your job very easier once you enter into the pharmaceutical industry. In simple terms, I am just trying to transform you from a student role to a job holder's role. So let us start. The first topic I am starting with pharmacopias. You might have heard this term number of times from your lecturers. Referring to pharmacopias is that important for drug manufacturers. If you join a job in quality control department, you have to understand the contents of pharmacopias before you are placed into a role in the quality control. Because all the specifications and testing procedures are prepared based on pharmacopial monograph and general procedures. Pharmacopias contains the information about the active pharmaceutical ingredients and formulations. More specifically, a chemical structure of the drug, molecular formula, dosage forms available, route of administration, packing, storage and labeling instructions, category of the drugs, specification and testing procedures and all other key information required for quality control of the drugs. So the knowledge gained during your academics related to the pharmacopias is very much useful when you are working in quality control, quality assurance and regulatory affairs department. So let us understand the types of pharmacopias we have. We have different kinds of pharmacopias like Indian pharmacopia termed as IP, British pharmacopia termed as BP, United States pharmacopia called as USP, Japanese pharmacopia JP, European pharmacopia EP. For example, if you want to register your drug into the US market, you need to comply your drug to meet the specifications and testing procedures specified in US pharmacopia. Similarly, for other countries, if you want to register your drug to European market, your drug need to meet the requirements of European pharmacopoeia. So it is very important to refer pharmacopoeias very frequently for the latest information published and latest versions and addendums. This is all about the pharmacopoeias. So please stay tuned for more videos and technical content.